T3100 console features. Deflector, off, on, throttle with ignition, flow rate control for your spray wand, parking brake, you also have backup pull start, freewheel, simply push to the right to engage into neutral, to disengage back into drive, simply lift up on the lever, slide to the left. Platform, to lift in the up position, simply pull the knob and lift. Steering wheel to control the machine. You've got a gas pedal. You notice that the gas pedal is tied into the speed control on the handlebars. Forward, reverse. Starting your T3100. Make sure your parking brake is on. Engage the choke. Turn the key switch into the on position and crank over. Once started, drop throttle down to fast. When driving the T3100, the foot pedal controls your speed. It's also linked to the hand controls. You can push forward on the hand controls to go forward and pull back to go in reverse. When you let go of all the controls, the machine will come to a stop. When approaching a curb, approach it at a 45 degree angle and climb the curb one tire at a time. Do the same for going down the curb as well, one tire at a time. When turning the T3100, use the steering knob and crank it all the way until it stops. This will line you up for your return pass going the other direction. It's good to practice this before going out and operating to get comfortable with the turning radius. This is how you'll be turning doing full passes, cranking the wheel all the way until it stops so you're lined up with your return pass going the other direction. Another way to make these turns is to use the 7 o'clock and 5 o'clock position. For a, a right hand turn, place your hand at the 7 o'clock position and turn the wheel all the way until it stops. For a left hand turn, Place your hand at the 5 o'clock position and turn the wheel all the way until it stops and this will line you up for your return pass going the other direction. Okay. T3100 spread controls. Over here we've got your gate opening. Open close. If we come to the opposite side, we have our wide and narrow, which is our spinner speed. Simply push all the way forward for wide, bring all the way back for narrow. There is no middle. It's either wide or narrow. T3100 rate reduction. As mentioned previously, gate opening, open, closed. In the out position, this is for your broadcast. Rate reduction, simply push the handle in, flick forward, notice how it hits the silver tab. The silver tab is a predetermined setting and typically you want to adjust to a third less rate or two thirds of a full application gate opening. This is used in conjunction with your deflector. When deflector is open or uh, up, gate handle is out, deflector down, rate reduction is in. Indirectly what you have done by calibrating this is you've also calibrated your wide and narrow. Wide is a nine foot, narrow is a six foot. Nine to six is a third. Therefore we reduce our rate when using our narrow. Also what you have done is calibrated to your three and a half mile per hour speed. At five miles per hour, the rate reduction handle is in the out position. When you reduce your speed to three and a half, you have a setting set up with your rate reduction tab.
There are three spray controls located on the operator's console. The right lever controls the wide spray. The wide spray is 9 feet effective with 18 inches of overlap on each side. The left lever controls the trim spray. The trim spray function sprays 6 inches beyond the left tire and 1 foot beyond the right tire. The center lever controls the spray wand. The spray wand has 15 feet of self-recoiling hose, which allows you to access areas too small for the T3000. A pressure regulator is located next to the sprayer controls. It is preset at 40 PSI at the factory to match the spray tips that come standard on the T3000. The regulator allows the owner to make pressure changes if a different volume spray tip is desired. Spray tips can be removed from the machine for cleaning by turning the nozzle a quarter turn. The following graphics provide a guide to properly apply material to a lawn. First, set the machine up in the trim setting. Start along one side of the lawn and follow the contour back to where you began. Now set the machine to the wide setting and make a pass just inside of your last pass while making sure the fertilizer is overlapping completely over your last pass. You have now created a turning area. Begin at one side of the lawn inside the area previously covered and work your way to the other side. Full turns of the steering wheel will line you up with your next pass and give you the correct overlap. As you approach the turn area, shut off the dry spread first, then the liquid. Complete the turn, then turn on the liquid and then the dry material.